Hello folks, and welcome back to the Lanka for Vinci Survival. Here we are, and yeah, we are doing some contract work, because, as you see on the top right corner of the screen, we've only got a thousand pounds left in the bank account, so we need to get some contracts done. So we need to get these two Colvin contracts done. They aren't going to take too long. Then we need to do this side contract. And that's because, since last time we've seen each other, there has been a nice mod that has been dropped. It's a cheap old bell wrapper, so that's going to cost us three grand. And yeah, we can't lease or anything with this series and that, but not to be afraid. We need to, all we have to do is just do these contracts. They will get us six grand, six and a half grand. But put the toast back up there. And then, yeah, what we'll do is most likely skip to June. Squeeze in another two. Actually, no, we could do another contract today. Because, yeah, it's three contracts per month. Because, yeah, unless. Actually, no, do we actually have any harvesting to do? Because I think, oh, yeah, we do. Fall's going to be ready tomorrow, but no. So, what's that? Our barley? So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's get a worker on this. Let's hop into the combine. See, so yeah, that's here. Just done the contract in that episode. Yeah, 53 is going to be ready next month. But for now, we can get this harvesting underway. Just get it all unfolded. And then we'll start the harvesting the barley. And then I think what we'll do is, to be honest, go ahead and sell it because we're in May and the price of barley is going to go down from now I ain't going to be re-peaking again until October or November so we've got our lorry and trailer there ready to go I will be getting straw from this so yeah straw's worth enabled that's a good thing about having the side tech panel and that oh, shame it doesn't work on PS5s but Hey, I'm still on the PS5 at the moment, so I will make most of it, so... It was already unfolded. So yes, yeah, now let's try it again. There we go. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have access to that little bit of land there. But not for long. Because yeah, the plan's going to be is purchase 50. Because, yeah, I want to get this all merged together. And at some point... Ooh. Oh, no, we're going to be purchasing a lot of land. And, uh, yeah, because that's a farm up there as well, so... Because, yeah, I would like to have... This as one big field. This as one big field. And these as one big field. But, yeah, that's going to be a while yet. So yeah, I had to turn this core notifications off, but also, I'm like, I'm at the stage now of where what we should be considering is forestry. So we get bot 96. Let's go into drone mode. So yeah, how much trees? Because it looks like there's a fair few trees here. And to be honest, not many. You could buy the field, cut those trees down, and sell the field back. Yep, technically it's field flipping, but it's not field flipping in the way you would normally see it with other people doing it. But yeah, to be honest, I don't know what we'll do, but I think, I think I've got the Duncan PL10 mod. Yeah. The first edition of the tree planters, that is seven and a half grand. And yeah, I completely forgot it costs money for the workers, so What's this crop here that hasn't shored? So, that's wheat, or barley. Oh no, it looks like that's barley as well, by the looks of it. Just late maturing, but... Anyways, we can get this harvesting done. And yep, I'll see you folks afterwards, once we're done with this. And then we'll get on to the con not contract work, we'll get on to the bathing.
go. That is the harvesting and baiting done. I'll just include clips of doing both. But yeah, so we've got 127,000 litres. And yeah, best price to sell at the moment is, I'm guessing the Forge Dealer. Yep, yeah, Forge Dealer, 129. Best price, 144. But like with the barley and that, the price is going down, so let's head over and get it sold. Because yeah, the bell sacking was painful, like. So I sort of tried to be clever of doing one bell first of all, and then trying to do two bells on top of it. Like, for the first row, for the first trader, I'll say overall not too bad, 9 out of 10. Second one, eh, not so much. So, at the end of it, I thought, yeah, we only had like six bells and that left, so I thought, could I get three on each side? But of course, that didn't work. So let's get three on one and just ram, yeah, ram the other three on to the side. So yeah, we should begin. So look at 120 grand. So yeah, what's that going to be? About 15 grand or so. 15, 18 grand. So that should, yeah, because the bell wrapper is only ooh, 13 grand. I will be getting the on end or the bell on enter or whatever it's called. So it flips bells, so it's like this. So when we come to loan it and that, we can just go bam, whack it on, take it away, and not just worry about like fancy flipping it over and that. But yeah, I'm gonna head over there, I'll see you there in a few moments. And then we'll go and sell the bells. And there we go at the forest dealer and yeah, just coming up the road. We are literally redlining the tracks all the way and yeah, so if you put it somewhere on the vehicle now let's... Actually is that the tractor itself or the trailers? Yeah, it's gotta be the tractor itself, it's fifty percent more at least. But yeah, so let's go and sell the first of the bells. Oh no. Phew. So that was 12 grand for the first load. And for the final load, an additional 5 grand. So, yep, 70 grand in total. Anything in the use market of our interest? Nope. That's going to be thing. Things pop up in the second hand market is going to be rare because, again, we're only using vintage equipment from the late 80s at the moment, so chances of anything popping up in the used market. And yep, yeah, I know to some extent I am stretching, well, probably stretching things like these and that. I'm not saying yeah, something like this is possible for the 80s, that. Late 80s into the 90s, maybe, but yeah, I want to do these side bells. Full colour. Let's go with that traditional black bell, because that's what I'm used to seeing. When it comes to such bells, it's black bells, so... See, so yeah, that is 15 grand. The main contract is at 64. So what I'm going to do is... Get a worker. I'm going to say you... Let's go down there. You... Uh, now, I won't get cold vein just yet. Because actually, do we have that Fiat Tagri still? So, yeah, I've come, yeah, we've still got that, so I'll get the Fiat. That can get the mowers down. And then, yeah, we'll need to bring the wind road down as well. But yeah, let's get everything down there. And then, what we'll do afterwards is start selling the barley. So yeah, even though yeah, back down to nine grand now. After all that, I'm, I don't have that little bit of a buffer in that case of any spurs purchases we need to make, especially if anything comes up in second hand market. So yeah, let me get this all sorted, and I'll see you folks once we're at the yeah, once everything's done, and we're heading down to whatever it is to sell the bit barry to. 
And alright, so we've got all the equipment down there, literally everything, because I forgot we had the pickup as well, so we used to have to take the windburn down. So yeah, we got a worker doing 64. And yeah, as I was like, get the worker set up and go in. I saw the train, I thought, let's quickly rent it, so yeah, maybe need to pay a little bit of extra in the sim, but worst case scenario is only like 100 quid or so. If that, sort of like with Evergreen Valley, where it is a lot more expensive than that, but... So yeah, oh, sure, I forgot. Yeah, well, I'll find out how much it has, but once it's on the train... Well, that's going to be the thing as well. That's one thing I want to talk about is, obviously with Evergreen Valley, maps just come out. I've done a map tour, and I'm literally recording this, this episode the same evening I released the first episode of the new series. So you just want to get the bar in. So yeah, with that, ugh, yeah, we've ended No Man's Land. Yeah, to be honest with No Man's Land, it was getting to the point where I still want to keep on doing the, the repetitive stuff and that. Stop checking, it's all gone in. Yes, it has. Nothing's in storage. Have a little to looky look. Nope. So yeah, obviously, yeah, release a new series and that because of that, because yeah, just doing things over and over again. Or it was onto the verge at that point, shall we freeze that? And so it's getting to the point as well with the production chains, like after episode ten of the series, I realised I went a bit overboard with productions and that, but didn't do anything about it. So yeah, I over time, series, I loved it, I enjoyed doing No Man's Land, it's a good classic map from FS90 for me at least. Do my survival challenge on that, on that game, that FS19, but yeah, it's got to a point where I also started losing interest in the way, and I think it came out with the penultimate episode, I think it was, when I did grapes, or the lack of doing grapes, I'm sure, if, again, rephrase it, put it that way, phrase it that way, with the old title and fun now, like, Yep, sorry, doing the grapes. But yeah, two hours in, or an hour in doing grapes, I was like, I've had enough. Wait a minute, why did you get 63 grand? There we go, correction made. So yeah, how is the workers doing at the moment? Doing good, so. But yeah, as I was saying with the whole situation that. Oh yeah, also need to be down here as well, don't we? We'll grab that. Actually, what? Let me just get the work on here a sec and get the beater and then have a little chat. There we go. So, yeah, we got 69%. Nice. Feel the bell. Yeah, should have done some more bell with that one, but oh well. But yeah, as I was saying, no my sand, that's done. Initially, even up to episode 50 or 60, I was like thinking. This, this should be a, a 100 episode series. But I still want to fall into that trap of doing repetitive things. And yeah, it was getting to the point where it was becoming logistics simulator. That, that's the term I'll say, or at least I've heard by many people who've cr criticized FS32 with its productions. And yeah, I get it. I hear the critics of it. But there's here's the thing. With a lot of things with this game, it's down to moderation of how you want to do it. But with me, I just went overboard, got too excited, overdid it, and over time, yeah, ruined my passion for the map that ruined the enjoyment. I mean, yeah, so a map like that, how I had it, be something I love to do in my own time, while I'm not doing episodes that when I'm recording stuff and that, but for a Let's Play series, Viewership does tank a bit, and that it has been tanking for a while on that. Even with the recent growth in the channel now, in the last two months and that, like... Yeah, a lot of it's because I've been doing mod reviews, put some more interesting content out. Make things more exciting, and that's how it should be, as a content creator. Look at left here. But yeah, I'm off and on. Get to the bottom of it is, like, with Court Farm. I'm not sure how many episodes that's got there for on 66 at the moment, and yeah, I'm starting the final harvest season. 
next episode is horror sim related. Maybe the one after that in different ways. Then again, so I've got pellets as well with our support I want to do. So yeah, I'll say maybe another five episodes left. Yeah, five episodes left and that's probably about two weeks out in terms of wrapping up. But until then, with Evergreen Valley and all that, with, with this doing poorly as well when it comes to viewership, like, I think one, one recent episode barely broke double digits, like, that's how bad it was. Oh yeah, I get, it's one of the things that happens from time to time. I'm not complaining, it's down to me. So I'm not blaming the algorithm or anything, it's down to me of making interesting content, but... Yeah, if the viewership keeps on tanking, because before Everything Valley came out, I was thinking of doing a very interesting American Let's Play series. And yeah, I know I'm doing Raven quite at the moment, and I'm now doing Everything Valley. But the uh, concept, the, the what set concept, so I want to just do a map where I'm like, here we are, and let's just farm. Also, make it interesting with production chains to a certain extent because I would yeah even though I'm playing on a Sabuki map at the moment it's gonna be ages before I'll have anything close when it comes to doing production changes on that map or at least doing Sabuki's production so I'm thinking of like say doing our planes and that have a set theme like a brand and that things like Maybe go in rather than John Deere all the time. Maybe go with a new Holland farm, a case farm. If anything, I'll say probably a case more than anything I'll be doing because. Funny enough. Okay, that's in the way. So, yeah, funny enough. Uh, yeah, sorry, FS22 did with doing a lot of case stuff. Alright, that's gonna melt. I'll just take over. Yeah, did a lot of key stuff with Obey Rune and that. But yeah, now, just not really doing anything with key says. Yes, I'm using international, but not modern key stuff, so... I want to change that up, and... That may mean I'll have to put this on the back burner for a bit. Until Court Farm is done, but honestly, I don't know in that. I'm going to see how the next few episodes of this goes and that. So yeah, because I'll update. Tonight, I was recording this on Monday the 18th. I'm going to get some batch recording done. I'll get two, three episodes recorded. Depends on how long these episodes take to record. It does vary on, again, what I do in that, because, yeah, there is a variety of things I do, like with Everything Valley. Like, the first episode, that took me six hours to do. Not includes. I was including some of this setup, obviously, in that, but. Court Farm that. Yeah, she to be fair, Court Farm doesn't take too long in that. But anyways, I'm waffling on that, so yeah. TLD Aureus. The series maybe could be on the back burner for a couple of weeks, depending on viewership and that. And so what we could do now is finish off his contract. And yeah, I'll bring folks back once we start doing the wrapping. Because yeah, we've still got all the beans to do, that's gonna take I'll say in real time about 10 minutes or so, so with the scale right at the moment, 10 minutes times 3, half an hour or so. So yeah, I'll see you by 1 o'clock in game time. So right, we are done with the bathing and yeah, pretty much bang on time almost, we're at 1 o'clock. Just a bit shy and... Ooh, do we use this for... <laughs> Do we use this for the bell wrapping? Nope. We're not going to use that. We may use it for transporting the bell since this is here already. Primarily, this is for our. Like, mainly, it's for the cultivating, and to be honest, I'll get a work on that right now. Do the cultivating and that. But, yeah, smash into our cultivator. Not smash into our cultivator, I mean, smash into. Our bell wrapper and that. So, yeah, 
Yeah, all I'm used to is on Ravenport. I'm using on Ravenport at the moment. Even with Ravenport 22, maybe swapping out the Bell Rapper since we're making more money in that as we go along with doing contracts on that series. But yeah, so how this works. Ooh, okay. Ah, that's going to be a problem because we've got the duties on, haven't we? Oh, that means we're going to have to use some noisy thing. Because, yeah, also. What the hell? I'll try it again. Well, yeah, actually, I think I do love about this. It's by Barso NV3 or something like that. And, yeah, wraps it. And, yeah, just unfolds it. With that bell and then turn her. But, yeah, I'll try it again. Oh, yeah, I'm guessing because it's not out far enough. Because, yeah, if you have a look. Yeah, that second one rear wheel is catching a little bit. Can I try again. Yeah, I think, you know what, to be honest, I should actually, can we use or pick up for this? That's the thing, because I'm seeing a lot of people doing the 200 horsepower challenge lately on Comsand, and that's the thing I find. Obviously, this has got the upgrade engine. But yeah, actually, if I go to my mods and that, Go down to the bottom, TLX, so uh, where's that to? RST, TLX. Okay, so it's at 480 horsepower, but, uh, what was it? So this is XJ and MJ by Ridiculous Dominic. Those are some cracking ones, that, yeah, I think. No, yeah, I think they start at 300 horsepower, but I'm sure there are pickups. I have used pickups in the past. Like, are under the 200 horsepower limit, and yeah, we could do everything like even things that says, Oh, it needs a P2 shaft, but we can get away with it with this. So, but yeah, so it's going to unfold this, anyways. But yeah, we've got 16 heat bells, or the heat bells, grass bells, and one straw bell, so. It should be fine, and yeah, obviously this will make sense because yeah, this is no P2 shaft required. It's essentially just all hydraulics and other wizardry in that, I'm sure. And yeah, all it does, it just wraps it. Compared to your convention wrapper, it does take a bit longer. But yeah, so that is bell number two wrapped. Oh, sorry, bell number three. And yeah, again, this shouldn't take us too long. So yeah, I think let's get this wrapped. And yeah, actually, there is a fertilizing contract, eighteen hundred quid. So any other contracts at the moment? I think for now we we'll accept sixty nine. Because yeah, those two contracts we can do in the next episode or yeah tomorrow. For April. So, yeah, I'm still sticking to the free contracts per limit per month. And yeah, so thinking, let's get these bells done. Just get six and a half grand for the contract itself. And then, I think to be honest, we should leave with some decent profits left over. And yet, the bar leave sold in that. Because yeah, we've got enough. Barley storage at the moment for the chickens, so I'm not worried about animal feed as such. But when we harvest the wheat, because I think it's wheat we've got on the ground at the moment, on 53, yeah. So that, we can store that, and that would be for chicken feed. That's what we need to do as well, is even though we're going to be merging all these fields together, we will still need a field for wheat, barley, or sorghum. Perhaps not so much sorghum, because that is a bit more of a expensive crop just to be used as chicken feed. But don't get me wrong, I know some farmers in real life that use sorghum in that, and at the end of the day it comes down to the climate and that, and the cost of the seeds. Obviously with us, wheat and barley is the best feed for the chickens. But yeah, so I'm going to get the rest of these done. And yeah, I'm going to try to get these stacked again. 
Or not, I'll shoot that on recording. I'm not sure, but yeah. Let me get this done. And I'll see you folks in a short while. About half an hour or so. By the time I'm done with all this, because it does take a while to get all this wrapped up. zoomed up and yeah they're not in the best way shape or form but yeah they're on the strap down so that's all that matters so on a cheeky cut across here but yeah 88,000 litres of ship signage and obviously that one straw bell 7,500 litres and yeah the reason why we had so many problems with the loading as I did record a time lapse, but not included in the editing, I'm not sure, but yeah. Well, at least I'm sure we'll have included some of it, but yeah, the problem was, yeah, with the bells, they are a little bit heavier than straw bells, so that obviously has a knock on effect. In terms of the lifting capacity without a weight, yes, we've got the weight, but I'm not going back to the farm just to pick up a weight in that. Perhaps I should have in that, but. Anywho, so yeah, we had to do two bells at a time, at most, and that was a FNAF, not FNAF, a FAF, and, oh uh, yeah, so at the end of it I had to do one bell at a time, that's why it took so long to get all these bells sorted. So yeah, for a little bit of straw, 600 quid, and now, how much do we get for silage? Pretty good. Nine thousand and French pounds. So yeah, we'll complete that contract. Six and a half grand. A soybean contract, three one. So yeah, that's our contract to do in the next episode. Three one harvesting. Uh yeah, fertilizer sixty-nine and plow twenty-eight. So we'll do that in the next episode. At sorry, next month. And yeah, it's half past two now. So yeah, I think what we could do is get some rest and because yeah, it's going to be a month or t at least a month or two before we start plowing everything together. So I'm in the rush to get everything cultivating that. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm going to leave folks for today. And as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, fill the comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed trying yet, then please consider. But for whatever you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be far more ever extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.